Hello and welcome. Today I want us to look at one of the most powerful functions in MS Excel and it is this one, the VLOOKUP, the VLOOKUP function. This function, as you can see from the name itself, uh, it is used for looking up for things, especially from a large amount of data. And here I'm going to use an example of information gathered from a certain hotel where visitors come and their personal details are recorded. You can see here each visitor visiting is given an ID and we also record a gender, title, first name, last name, their email, their mobile numbers and also date of birth. So this information is a lot and sometimes you want, you want to work on it by analyzing aspects like the days the visitors or guests stayed in the hotel and in which cottages of those hotels. And also from that information you will be able to calculate how much they should be able to pay. So here in this sheet, I, re I recorded different types of visitors and uh, also their personal information like email and date of birth. In the other sheet, cottage A, this is where these visitors stayed. And you can see here, and these are the number of days the visitors stayed. In cottage B, the same. These IDs stayed in cottage B, and these are the days stayed. This is just a sample of an, a full analysis which a hotel can do. So I'm just using cottage A and B for demonstration purpose. Now, if you want to calculate the amount somebody must uh, pay, you will take the amount somebody spends per day on accommodation and meals, then you multiply it by the day's state, and that is actually what we want to do. Finally, you may need first name, last name, and mobile number, and this information is available on this first sheet. First name, last name, and mobile number is available there. In the case you want to transfer them here for these visitors IDs, then you may use VLOOKUP function. Another most difficult option is to search manually. You just take this ID come here and scroll and try to get it from here then you'll go and pick the first name last name like that but if you do it manually it will take a lot of time so we will use VLOOKUP to do that so the first thing to do when using VLOOKUP you just put equal sign and just write the word VLOOKUP you can see it is suggesting from this list, just double click it. Now the first part you can see here, lookup value, is what you are actually searching. So for this first person, I am looking for this. Okay, I'm looking for this uh, ID. So I have clicked there, then I will put a comma. Uh, next, we have table array. By table array, we mean the selection of cells from where to search this particular ID. And remember, I want finally to return first name. Okay. So I'm going ahead to the guest and I'm going to select everything from this ID column to the first name so that I will be able to pick a first name for that ID from this selection. So I will move downwards like this 
and this is what we call table array so this is the selection where i want to pick the first name for the particular id in a5 so i will put a comma now in that selection you have to tell which row sorry which column to return that first name and remember i selected from id to first name those are four columns so i want the fourth column to give me the first name so i'll just write here four then comma you can see the fourth part of the vlookup you specify whether you want an exact match of what you are searching or you just want an approximate match i want an exact match of that guest id so i will choose false and i will just close bracket here from the formula bar and press enter when i pressed enter you can see i got the name ab who is the owner of this id we can confirm that uh, ab owns you can see here we have ab 3328ac here 3328ac is a b so that is how we use vlookup to get that information and now i will go ahead remember this is my this is my formula here i want to go ahead and drag down so that i get the other information just by pulling like this and i get the other first names that is how we use vlookup to make our work easier okay so i will go ahead and confirm if this information is true so let us search for 935 90 93 51 ak 9351 AK 9351 AK you can see here first name is Aliash so if i come here it is Aliash so the formula is working okay let us also confirm with the maybe this one 834 8343 NA 8343 NA 8343 NA first name is Nomin Erdene so it is Nomin Erdene so it is fine so I will go ahead and complete this the same operation the rest V lookup double click this time I'm looking for first name so specify what you want to search then come here and put a comma and uh, I want to select where to pick the last name so I, I will do a selection here this time do a selection here i want to select the to get the last name so i will select from id to last name then downwards everything remember to put a comma and to specify the column which will return the result and that of course since the selection is done from id to last name those are five columns so the, the result should come from the fifth column and i want to follow i want to, to do exact match so i will select false and press enter and now come and just drag this down and that is how it works for mobile phone i will do the same v lookup double click 
specify what I want to search comma this time I want to mobile phone so we'll come to the guest sheet select from ID to mobile phone column then downwards up to there then I will come here put a comma in the formula bar I want uh, to return which column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so the one for mobile phone is column 7 of the selection so I will type here 7 and of course I want exact match I will just write here false close bracket press enter and I will be able to pull down this so you can see the work is made easier by using VLOOKUP we can confirm the mobile number for Makims this is Makims let us confirm the mobile number so let me go and look for the first name Makims first name here Makims is here so this is Makims what is the mobile number for Makims it is it ends with the 90366 so coming here 90366 is the mobile number for Makims so the VLOOKUP is working correctly now for the rest here to do the amount I want to take this uh, price for the meals and accommodation per day multiply by the number of days stayed by this ID so I will put equal sign take the number of days multiply by the amount and since I want to drag down I don't want it to shift from cell C2 because C2 contains the price if you, I don't do uh, the, I don't make it absolute then when I drag down the formula even this selection will be going down so to fix the selection there I will go and make this absolute by putting dollar sign before column C and dollar sign before column 2 then I will just press enter so I will just come now and pull down the rest of the formula if I click the last one you can see it is not leaving C2 but the column B shifted to B9 here it is B6 but C2 is not moving away from that cell so that is how we do the amount due and the sum for this cottage is just calculated by using the sum function like that I will come to cottage B same I want the first name last name and the mobile number for this visitor so I will go ahead and write your VLOOKUP select what you want to search comma specify the table array where to get the first name for this ID so I will come here since I want first name I will do selection from the ID column to the first name then downwards vertically then I will go ahead and put a comma and specify the column number so these are how many columns one two three four so I want the result to come from the fourth one fourth column so I'll write four and just write false and press enter once I have four early I can now pull down this formula to fill for the rest for the last name equal sign V lookup click the cell with the ID you want to search comma I am looking for last name so I will go to the guest sheet and select everything select everything from column ID to the last name column 
then downwards to the last row that is what we call table array then comma and I want it to return first name last name and that last name is in which column one two three four five it is in column five so I write here five then just write false and close that press enter I will drag down for their mobile numbers this time I want to go and do the lookup again pick the ID to search and go and select up to the mobile column so I will come and do a selection from ID to the mobile column which is the seventh column for the, in the selection then I will go downwards up to the last row then I will come to my formula bar put a comma and I want the mobile so mobile is in the column 7 and I will just take the false and press enter then come back here and just pull down the formula we can do confirmation here for example James what is the mobile number for James James in the first name column so let me confirm here come to the info look for James in column in the first name column James is here so if this is the row for James what is the mobile number his mobile number ends with 900-170 so coming here James mobile number 900-170 you can see the information is correctly analyzed by the VLOOKUP finally let us do the amount due here equal sign pick the day state multiplied by amount per day then we will, we will have to make it absolute so that the selection doesn't shift from cell C2 using the dollar signs and press enter so I will just pull down this formula and finally do the sum and do the selection here and press enter that is how we use VLOOKUP to help us search for what we want in a, a large collection of data and that one is making our work easier and analysis in Excel becomes faster and efficient. Please go ahead, try this and see you next time. Bye bye.